Welcome to this radio video and we are continuing our series on radio terminology, abbreviations used, what they mean. Today we're going to talk about AGC. You can see here there's a whole button on my radio that is um, just for that, AGC. And it's something that even though it's not written on a portable receiver, is still something that exists on every radio. Every radio receiver has an AGC circuit. AGC means automatic gain control. And I'll explain why some receivers have a button for it and others don't. Typically most portables don't. And you'll mostly see AGC buttons on higher end receivers. Automatic gain control is a very clever and very interesting electronic circuit in your radio. You might have noticed that on shortwave, especially on shortwave, there's a lot of variations on the signals. While you're listening to your favorite station, you know, you see that S meter go up and down and up and down, but you probably noticed that the audio and the reception on a radio doesn't vary that much. Although sometimes it's a little distorted, the audio strength, everything is pretty much the same. You know, you don't want to play with the volume every time the signal goes down. That wouldn't be fun. Um, and why is that? Because, you know, if the signal goes down, typically you should hear probably that station a little weaker. The audio should be a little weaker than it, it, it is when it's strong and it's not the case on a radio usually. Well, that's the automatic gain control. It actually compensates all the time, all the time. So when the signal goes down, the gain goes up so that your uh, audio and everything stays pretty much the same. Signal comes back up, the gain will go down so that the receiver is still pretty much at the same level all the time. And that's why a receiver, a well-designed receiver with a good AGC or automatic gain control usually sounds pretty good and you rarely have to touch you know the volume control even a weaker signal. You'll even notice that when you tune around the bands you usually don't really play that much about with the volume because you know you go from let's say a signal that's very strong to a signal that's really weak and you usually pretty much stay to the same volume to listen and hear what's being said. Once again, automatic gain control. You get onto that, you know, you're tuning around, you get to the very strong station, gain of the radio is sent down. Why? Because it's a circuit that compares all the time the signals to a reference. And what it does is that it always knows if the signal is getting too strong or too weak and it actually pushes or lowers uh, with the help of transistors the way the receiver is handling that signal so by uh, you know by pushing the gain up it's actually uh, making things or you know telling the radio telling the electronics to just push up volume and um, you know different other circuits with RF the radio frequency stuff and you know when signals get too strong well it's gonna say whoa this is too strong we're gonna lower it back to a certain threshold you know it has a threshold where it's gonna always wanna stay in that range now why do higher hand receivers get an AJC button that's because AJC even though it's a fantastic circuit can actually play against you because maybe you've tuned a signal for example that has a very very fast variation um, typically here when I listen to Asian signals that go cross over the North Pole um, signals that cross the North Pole are very very fluttery in general because they're crossing the auroral area that's where you know the geomagnetic um, field of the earth actually interacts the most with earth 
And so a signal that crosses there sometimes gets very, very fast variation. So you'll see that even the S meter has some difficulty adjusting because it's just so fast uh, in the flutter of a signal. That's where having an AGC that is adjustable is a great idea because when the AGC signal needs to react too fast, it sometimes distorts your audio. So in a signal that changes too fast, the response time of the AGC is, can't catch up and you'll have a chance of maybe having much more distortion and probably get very, very uh, difficult uh, reception. But if you play with your AGC and tell it you can go faster or slower, you can let your AGC, for example, on my receiver here, let's say there's a fast flutter and my AGC is set to fast. Well, the flutter is too fast. You know, it's kind of distorting the audio. I can tell the radio, you know what, when it changes, why not go slower? So you don't give as much importance to that little fluttering of the signal. And that sometimes improves the audio because the AGC doesn't have to work that fast. Another great thing about AGC being slower, for example, on single sideband signals, I'll often want to have AGC in a slow mode. Because, once again, a single sideband signal is on or off. So when he's talking, you get a signal. When there's no voice, there's no signal. So what it does is that the AGC wants to compensate the loss of signal by pushing the gain up. And, you know, in a single sideband signal, sometimes that's uh, difficult on the ears. So you might want to put your AGC in a slow mode so that when the the, the person talks, that little pause between each words, the radio does not push the gain up. It goes so slowly to push it up that it doesn't really interact that much. And it also shows because an, a slower AGC, you'll see your S meter actually drop down slower than on a fast AGC. So uh, automatic gain control is a circuit that's uh, everywhere. I mean, while I'm recording this video, my computer um, is actually using an AGC. It's actually trying to take my voice, and while I'm talking, it wants to try to actually compensate and make everything at a level that's pretty much the same so that when I talk louder, you don't actually uh, have to lower the volume. And when I talk, um, you know, softer, you don't necessarily have to actually push up your volume. Even your amplifier, that the speakers in your computer that you're listening with right now, they have an AGC. There's an automatic gain control. Um, if you have one of those old uh, recorders, even uh, recording on a smartphone, the smartphone or the recorder has a AGC circuit. That's why when you talk softer, you notice that the gain is actually pushed up. There's a little more noise, but you still hear what's being said um, and so on. So AGC is one of the fun really fundamental circuits in electronics, and it's an amazing uh, circuit to help make things easier for radio in general. And like I said, most of the times the AGC button is on an higher end radio because an AGC uh, if they put this button, it means that they had to uh, add more electronics to the radio to change the time of the AGC, the reaction time. So that usually it's in receivers that you actually pay a little more money that you'll have these types of circuits. And, you know, even on high-end receivers, I've seen a few that didn't even have AGC. And uh, once you get used to having one, uh, it's one of those things that you actually really, really uh, miss when you don't. Um, and that's also, that's why um, in a portable receiver, somebody that's really, really uh, serious, that wants to uh, really, really go beyond just choosing a radio, might want to find information about the automatic gain control because some portable receivers, AGC, is actually set wrong and just makes more distortion in the radio rather than helping. 
So, um, you know, that can happen. So that's AGC, automatic gain control. That's why you don't have to play with your volume every time a signal goes up or down. It always compensates for you. Hope you enjoyed this little video on the automatic gain control and our series on understanding the radio terminology and mumbo jumbo. So uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.